Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can calibrate the laser in your compensator. Sometimes they can ship and they get bumped around in shipping, which means sometimes they can end up off-centered and not aligned with your sights. So it's relatively straightforward to do. I would recommend you grab a tweezers. They are very handy for this. And the first thing we're going to do, actually, is we're going to remove the barrel from our FSE because this is going to make things a little bit easier. Um, and obviously we want to remove the compensator. Now you want to grab a small Allen key. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this door that's on the back. And the best way to do that, put an Allen key in the hole and use it as a lever to pull it out. And there we go. We'll keep the door safe. It's a non-functional part. It's really just there to cover up the back so that the laser doesn't shine through backwards because it is a diode which shines both ways. And next what we want to do is we're going to need to push the laser from the front off the spring. Now I've done this already here and to do that loosen the top Allen, loosen the top grub screw and loosen the um, side grub screw. Not by much, just a couple of turns just so that the laser can move backwards and forwards. And what you can do is you can just simply push the laser back. Sorry, you can't see. You can push the laser back then. It'll be free to move. And you'll see if you push it back far enough, the spring will sort of pop out of this, of this groove. Now, if your spring's already come out, maybe it's moved in shipping, possibly the grub screws weren't tight enough. You can simply put it back in by um, grabbing it with the tweezers. So I'll just remove it here. This is what it looks like. This one's a little bit rusted because it's been in water, but you can grab it like that. You see you want, the, you want the flat part on the top and just simply place it in the hole and press it down with the tweezers. And then you can, you can simply, while you're pressing down with the tweezers, you can just simply push from the back into the laser module with your finger and it'll go in seat back over the spring. But we don't want to do that yet because we want to calibrate the uh, the laser so it's in the center now the best way to do this is to actually put it on your marker and try and figure out where it's where it's shining at the moment how how offset it is so if we put it on the marker here and we shine it now i don't have sights installed on this one but we can try and see if it's centered or not you can see it's a little bit off center it's a little bit to the left now, yeah, we can we can compensate this with grub, grub screws, but we'll probably, you know, we want to try and get it in the center as much as possible. And we can do this simply by rotating the laser. Um, so the best way is to, first of all, turn it off, take this off. And there is going to be a little bit of um, discovery to find out how the laser is offset. Because a lot of the lasers ship and they, they uh, offset slightly in a direction. And we can change that direction simply by rotating so we take out trusty tweezers and you'll see like a um the circuit board a lip at the back of the laser and we can simply twist the laser like so oh you can't see so if we twist it i twist it anti-clockwise slightly not by much just a couple of degrees and now we can put it back on our marker uh, like so and we can shine it again and see how much offset it is so this has started to move up a little bit and to the to the right. So we might need to twist it a few more times to um, to get it in the correct position. Now at this point, if you want to leave the laser on just to see it move in, you can. And we can just carefully on short circuit it. So just turn it off before we twist it. And we'll move it a little bit more. Another quarter turn. And that looks like more in the center there. So we place it on, have a look. And that's definitely more in the center now. And what we can do, because we've got it close enough, we can now start using the grub screws to fine tune it. So if it's too far to the right, you can screw the grub screw in and what that's going to do is it's going to push against the spring um, and obviously this this isn't up against the spring at the moment but it'll push against the spring and you can push it up and down as well 
So the next thing to do now, now we've got it roughly centered, is we need to push that spring down in front. So like this, you push it down like so. It can be a little bit fiddly, but push it down and then push the laser from the back with your finger and you'll start to see it'll be coming through there. And then you can just give it a shove from the back then with the with, with the tweezers and now you can see it sort of flush. You'll have you'll probably have a slight um difference in the design on this, but what you're aiming for is you want the end of the laser lens to be pretty much flush with the um the spring. Okay, so there's that and we can check and it works. There we go. And that's pretty much dead center now that is. And if we you know if we do want to make adjustments now, we can tighten the um the grub screws. So the next thing we need to do is tighten the grub screws because the grub screws will fasten this um laser in place and it'll make sure it, it won't turn around. So the best way is to keep tightening there and tighten it still until you see the laser just start to move sideways and then stop back it off about an eighth of a turn. Same with the top one. And then back it off an eighth of a turn. Double check is still in the center, which it is. And then you're good to go. Um, if you have any more problems, please feel free to contact us. We are looking at making this design a little bit easier for people to, um, to adjust. Appreciate it can be quite fiddly as it is. But it, it, once, once you've dialed it in once, you shouldn't ever need to do it again. Uh, thanks for watching.